Good morning. Good morning, Finders Keepians. It's time for Pen Talk. Talk with Evelyn. Yay! Yay! Stay tuned right after the whistling. Good morning, Finders Keepians. We thought we lost the signal as usual, but guess what? Sarah's back. She should. We are back for part. I don't part think that was shame, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are back for pen talk with Evelyn. With Evelyn. Hi guys. Part D. She's yes. going to share with us today how to clean cartridges and mm -hmm. refill cartridges, and we have an exciting little bit of tidbit of news for you later on. Later so stay on. Stay tuned. Yeah. So stay tuned. And stay tuned. guess what? This is the second part. Let's tell them a little bit about what the first part oh, yes, was so they yes. can see it because it's on YouTube now so you yes. want to pop over and see it. We Please have some do. audio issues on Facebook so don't look at it into Facebook. Go to, YouTube, Go to YouTube. You can see part one with Evelyn. She talks all things pens and more than I ever I had no idea. You Thank you. know about pens. Hi Maribel! Hi Maribel! Yes, Evelyn is like a pen geek. Yes. And she doesn't mind being called a geek either Not because... All. She's she's our she doesn't person. really mind anything. She's no. the most easygoing person. It's pretty yeah. cool. So we're having a really good time here at the studio today, and we're going to be talking all things pens with Evelyn. She's going to be teaching us all things about the pens. And are we going to be using that thing that sucks the boogers? Yeah, yes. We're we'll using the booger sucker. Yes. So booger that's suckers coming up too. Coming so we're going to change the view. Yes. So everybody, we're going to tell you to go ahead and close your eyes right now. We're yeah. going to switch stuff around. We'll be right back. Yeah. Hold tight. Or you can look if you don't get seasick. Yeah, if you don't get seasick. Go ahead. Okay, you guys, I think you can open your eyes now. Yes, and we're back. If we can have our cameraman check our 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 uh, straightness here. We've got a little pad of paper so that... All right, so they're going to take their seats. No, no, you do that because I'm going to be um, gopher and running around. So okay. we've got some things to announce before we begin. Rachel. You yes. Got, you've got visual aid. I have a visual aid. And we'll be also posting this. We'll do a sticky post on our Facebook page. Yes. It'll be right at the top. Yes, All of yes, our yes, videos yes. that we're uh, releasing in October. These are our upcoming videos. So as you know, we've kind of changed our schedule, just reminding everybody that we're at, coming to you live every third. Well, not always live, but we're coming to you every Thursday on Facebook at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Mm -hmm. And we've got um, some great things lined up for October. First is the Fall in Love 12 by 12 process video mm -hmm. by our lovely Sarah. Thank and you. so it's going to be really cute. It's a beautiful layout. Um, then on October 12th, we have our live class demo, which is going to be our Love That Photo Easy Peasy with me. Sarah will be here. Yep. No, yes, Sarah yeah. will be here. That's I'll right. I'll be there. And then on October 19th, we've got another process video. I'm going to dive into InDesign and show you guys how to resize your photos to print for your Easy Peasies and for your 12 by 12s and for mm -hmm. some of your layouts to get some of those pictures off your computers and onto your pages to preserve those yeah, memories. Right. And then we'll have our standard state of the paper the last weekend, the last Thursday of the month. So, ta-da! Ta -da. So we'll have all that up for you guys. So that's what's going to happen for that. And we're very excited okay. to share that stuff with you. But enough of that. Let's get to pens. Let's get to pens. Yay, Evelyn, pens. teach us about pens. Okay. Do you have any pens you can teach us about? I do. So, hi, everybody. Um, it's first, Evelyn. It's me. So last time I was here, we talked about a bunch of um, starter pens or beginner pens, um, fountain pens specifically. And one of the ones I talked about was this one here. It's I the, love this one. The Pilot Metropolitan. This one in particular is from their Retro Pop line. <laughs> it's got polka dots. It's colors. got polka dots and yeah. it's a lovely teal. And I'll bring Here's some paper in. This is our sample from last time. So this is the color that was in it. But it's been in this pen for a while. And I'm kind of bored with it. Uh-oh. Uh -oh, so, you can't be bored with your yeah, pen color. Well, it, it happens sometimes. So we're going to clean this pen out. Awesome. And I normally, if I were putting more of the same ink in the pen, I wouldn't necessarily clean okay. it out. Okay, and that is that if you are changing the, the ink colors, yes. you should definitely clean it out thoroughly before yes. putting in the new color. That is correct. Ink color. Does okay. that mean you're going to lose the ink? You're, you're going to lose some of the ink. Yeah. Now, okay. I usually will write with these until they're dry, until, yeah. you know... Like I have to lick the the nib to get <laughs> ink to come out. Then it's time to oh, to. You're a nib licker. I'm a nib licker. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that sounds a lot dirtier than it is. That sounds really bad. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, 
So we have here a little bowl of water, and I have like a you know an empty uh, juice cup or something. I don't even remember where this is you know, from. We're great. Those little applesauce cups. Exactly. Yes. 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 Okay. Um, and Sarah had asked earlier when we were prepping for this, you know, is this ink going to stain her pretty little melanin cup? And in my experience, the answer is no, with a few exceptions. There right. are some okay. fountain pen inks out there that. Um, are a little more sticky, mm -hmm. um, but usually they will, they tell you that kind of on the bottle. On the bottle. Um, most okay. of them are water soluble. All of uh -oh. them are water soluble, or they should be. Um, and India so. India ink is water soluble? No, no, no. Fountain okay. pen inks. Okay. India ink you want to use with dip nibs. Oh, Hence the dip nibs. Which is a whole dip different nibs. thing. Inclusive dip nibs. But, um, oh, the dip okay. nibs. So let's focus on what we're doing now because the like girls are getting silly. Rain is back <laughs> in. Totally back in. Okay, so um, I just unscrewed the bottom of the pen, and this one I had using a a oh, converter. Okay, okay, so this little thing you can use, and it's like a squeezy thing. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to squeeze this. And if there's any extra ink in there, it's going to kind of come out. But there's not a whole lot. Not so lot. you were asking if I was going to oh, lose some ink. Not very much. Not a whole lot of, like, active ink in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. But um, clearly I didn't get it all. You can probably see there's some ink still on the nib itself. Sorry. Thank you. Okay. I need to recenter. Um, so I'm going to stick this in the water. Ooh, pretty. And I'm going to squeeze it and release. And... You know, worst case scenario, you can do this a bajillion times until the water runs clear. And this is one of the reasons I usually do this at my sink because, sure. you know, you blah, don't know blah, how blah. long it's going to be. But for gosh sake, this takes forever, right? Mm -hmm. la, 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 la. So what I usually do is I will actually just kind of soak that in there and I will pull out <laughs> the oh. booger sucker, which is also called a, uh, a bulb, bulb syringe. syringe. They use those for infants when they have colds, but they don't really work. They don't. Yeah, exactly. They don't. I mean, they literally are designed to suck yeah. boogers out of a baby's yes. nose. Right? And the babies hate it. And babies hate it. So notice I filled it up with water, right? You can see that. Mm -hmm. My hand's out of the way. Um, and I'm going to put it where it this... And uh -oh. it's not going to be a super tight seal. I mean, it's not a perfect seal. So there might be some... I'm trying to do this so we can see. But I'm basically forcing water through the nib... Just gently, you're not like... Just gently, yeah. Just gently. And again, I would do this over and over again until the water ran clear. Now we're just using... This is just for an example, so don't... It's it's not going to run clear for our... Per, oops. That's okay. You should... Yes, you definitely want some absorbent paper, paper, paper towels. towels or, around. Hi, Joanne! How Hi, are you? Joanne. I've, I've kind of fallen in love with these new shop. I mean, they're not new, but you get them at Home Depot, the big shop paper towels for yeah. crafting because they're amazing. They're like, it's like fabric. It's like, it's like an yeah. super absorbent for like, I've been working with Tim, the Tim Holtz oxide inks and a lot of kind of multimedia yeah, you need and to get those really wet. If you're working with a really wet technique, those are fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Use as much as you want. Okay. Now, um, Again, I would I would do this a couple different times until that this water ran clear. But for our purposes, you get the idea. So you would have to change the water out. You would, or do yeah. it at the Sink or whatever. Yeah. Right, or do it at the sink, which is again usually how I do this. <laughs> um, and then, let's say if this pen were going into storage, then and I would do the same thing with the cartridge or the converter, right? I would. There's a difference between cartridges and converters. There is, yes. So. The ink cartridge, most pens will come with one of these and you can buy replacement ones, look like this. That's is an ink that, cartridge. This is, is that a one-time usage? This is, in theory, a one-time usage. Okay. Okay. The converter, which the Pilot Metropolitan normally will come with a converter, but the converter is reusable. Okay. Okay. I'm going to show you how to refill both of these. Oh, even because, though in theory it <clears throat> says one time, but... Yes. So here I have an empty cartridge. And if you don't have a converter, that was the seal that's up top here. Okay. It gets pushed inside okay. when you when you open it, but it doesn't keep it from working. Got right? it. These will give out. This little rubber or this little plastic area eventually will give out. So you, you can use this multiple times, but it can't be used forever. Forever. Right. Okay. okay. But again, back to if I were if I were putting this pen into storage, I would after I've cleaned both of these out, um, I would. Kind of take a paper, my absorbent paper, let's say this is it, put it in my cup and... Oh, okay, so they can drain out. Let You're them, not going to let a lot of liquid sit inside Exactly. There. You want to let them dry they out. They rust. 
Do pens rust? They can, uh, but more uh, more often they just get kind of build up. Kind of goopy. Yeah, oxidation, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so let's. I'm just curious how well we cleaned this out. Yes, now. let's try it again. You know that one looks pretty good. Nice. There's not really much coming out of that one. And if I were to put it back in <laughs> Excuse the me. nib and squeeze it, we actually did pretty well. There's a little bit that maybe yeah. is hard to see because the color of the ink and the color of the inside of the, oh, the, the bowl's bowl is blue. <laughs> is pretty close, but, but we did a pretty good job. Okay. So yes. I would be happy with that. Okay. Take a victory lap, Evelyn. Yay. Victory, victory lap. Victory lap. There okay. You. okay. So again, if I were storing these, I would let them dry completely and because they're wet, they don't want to come out. But because I'm going to refill this immediately, um, I'm just kind of, you know, drying the nib off a little bit. Kind of tap it. Tap it. Same thing with this. Okay. Now, to refill, I should have pulled this out. She's opening ink, you guys. I'm opening an ink bottle. It's so, oh, look at so the pretty. bottle. This is a gorgeous bottle. So this is from the brand Pelican. The line is Edelstein. Um, and this is the current ink of the year for 2017. It's called Smoky Quartz. Ink it, of the year. Ink Fancy. of the year. And it's kind of a really lovely um, taupey brown, but there's also some purple undertones to it. It's a really Ooh. pretty color. I love it already. Okay. So there's a couple ways you can refill this. One is you stick the converter back into the, the nib. You stick it straight in, and uh, I'm going to squeeze it out here. You stick it straight in, and then... Release the little suction thing, It'll suck up and it. it just sucks it back up. It's a okay. vacuum, right? So that's one way to do it. All right. And then that's... I would wipe my nib and section off so I don't get my fingers all inky. Yes. Although, you will get your fingers inky. Inky fingers are happy fingers. They are. That's that's just part of the. Now I'm gonna just again for demonstration purposes. I'm just gonna waste that ink. So. Don't fret. We I have, have plenty. We have plenty. We've got a whole bottle. <laughs> I have plenty. Do you have these bottles lined up on shelves because I do. they're super pretty. I do. Yeah. They remind yes, me because of the they're old gorgeous. perfume bottles yes. when I was a kid. My granny had all those perfume bottles yep. lined up. So now a secondary way to fill this, if you didn't want to get your section and nib, you could just do squeeze this, put it directly in, and fill it back up. Oh. And then wipe this part off. And, and then, then stick, stick it, in. it in here. Okay. Now that's going to take a little bit longer for the ink to flow into your nib, right? Okay. Right. Because okay. it has to make its way okay. there. Yeah. But it's also a little cleaner in the nib area. So it kind of depends on how fussy you are in terms of. And you notice I am doing this because I didn't clean these as well as I normally would. I don't want to contaminate my ink oh, totally. with the Put other colors. So that's the only reason I'm I'm emptying out into there. I was going to ask that. Yeah. She's psychic. She knows my thoughts. Okay. <laughs> Now, the final way to fill either of these, now this is the method that works for both cartridge con, uh, cartridges, no, sorry, cartridges <laughs> or converters, cartridge or converter, is with a syringe. Now, a syringe? A syringe. This little doohickey can be used either as a refill syringe or for cleaning as well. Um, I got these at a little Japanese so store cute, called okay. Daiso. Um, which is in Southern California, at least, it's kind of like a 99 cent store for Japanese products. Um, and is I'm, that intended for pens? Uh, I have no idea what it's intended for. <laughs> but you just thought that'll work but for it pens. Works. I thought this would work for pens, yeah. I feel like I found it in the, I feel like I did find it in the pen area. Like with the pens and pencils? With the pens and pencils. But okay. again, same idea, it's going to work on, vac on vacuum, so I'm going to compress that, suck it up, suck, suck it, it up. up, and then... Just put it in there. Put it, it in there. Just fills right up. Just fills right up. Okay. Or I would do that into my cartridge. My okay. converter, sorry. Converter cartridge. I, oops. And then sometimes splats happen. But just, aren't splats kind of beautiful too? They are. They're gorgeous. I love them. You could put like a really nice piece of paper down and then yep. make the splats. And just splat it. And there are people who do that and then they take their nib and they kind of, there's an amazing artist named Joey Feldman and he like splats ink down and then he uses his pens to kind of pull the ink out into drawings. Really? Really, really cool stuff. Hi, Joey. I love you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so... These are all methods to use. The other thing you could do is, this looks a little scary, which is why I started with the plastic one. This is a syringe that I got on Amazon, and I think I bought 10 of them for like $5, right? Okay, yeah. But it, same idea, right? So we're going to use this and suck it up. And suck it up. I love how do you know how much to suck up well, in there? Well, so because this is clean, 
I'm going to use a visual. I'm going to use the visual to be like, okay, I'm going to fill this until it gets to right about there. Okay. Okay. Then the rest of this I'm going to put back in here. Does that make sense? Because that's okay. clean. Because that's clean. Yeah. Okay. You don't and want then, to contaminate your ink. Exactly. And then. Okay. Just. And this is actually another thing that I kind of love. I love watching the ink in the water that is you know how it how it just swirls and whatever so again I would clean this out blah 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 and then oops this would go in here and back in our pen and oh, I don't know I'm why so I'm very excited. nervous today so I'm shaking a little bit and then cap no the shaking pen. it's we're all friends here. I know I know you guys love we're me and I love friends. you so I'm gonna close that up and put it out of the way <clears> and then even though I know this isn't Oh, nice. Do you want to do it on a piece of plain paper? Nah, that's okay. good. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. So there we go. And so you guys can see the ink a little bit. And it's a little, right now it's a little bit watery because again, we had water in yeah, the nib. Yeah, just getting all that So out. it'll get a little darker. If you look at this, you can see it's right. Oh, that's more. beautiful. So. Oh, I love that. That's it. That's how, that's how you clean your pen. And so Very good. Very lovely. Your good pen maintenance. Um, most of the time you can use just water, but let's say you forgot this pen in your car for a month. Yeah, that I ink, was going to ask about that. In like Southern that California, yeah, that ink in is the probably summer. going to dry out. Yeah. Okay. Or you just leave it. Sometimes you just leave it laying for a month. The ink will eventually dry out if you just leave it. Okay. Um, so start with water. It's the same basic process. I would take my nib and I would soak it in the water for like okay. half an hour. Right? If this were dried out. So, again, let's just, we're going to pretend this, this is. This is, I was so scared I about all of this. And this makes this little metal piece. Well, this technically, this is, this is actually the nib section. Okay. Okay, yes. The, the nib itself is really just does that in the come middle. Off or does that it can. I, I personally don't like to do that because I feel like I can never get it back right, where right. it belongs. Hi, so Bonnie. This is, <clears throat> this is the right. nib. This is the feed. Mm -hmm. The little plastic thing down here. Right. This portion here is the section. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So the whole thing usually is the nib section. <clears throat> That's how it's called. But if this were all dried out, I would just soak that for half an hour or so to start with, just to kind of re um, hydrate <clears throat> rehydrate ink. that ink, and okay. then I would go through the process again. But let's say you're, it's still not quite getting clean. Mm -hmm. You can use a very mild um, ammonia solution. So one part ammonia. To ten parts water. Oh, Ooh, that is mild. very mild. very mild, right? Can you say that again. One part ammonia to ten, ten parts, parts water. Water. Very good. Okay. 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 Um, and usually the what same process with that, like the using exact the same sucker. And... Yeah. So you're gonna or you're gonna soak the the nib oh, nib first. section mm -hmm. in that solution, and that I would only do a minute or two. Doesn't have to okay. be very long. Okay. <clears throat> and then with water, or I'm sorry, with your booger sucker or syringe, bulb syringe. Again, kind of force the solution through. It's going to bubble a little bit because ammonia has kind of a sudsy quality to it, okay. right? Okay. And then um, once you feel like, okay, I've really gotten everything out of there, the gunk out of there, do the same process again with, with water. water. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Um, and so that just kind of keeps it clear. Moisturized. I, it, well, and, and, it, and it, it cleans it out. It gets rid of all, any gunked on ink property, you know, ink stuff. Bonnie. Bonnie says she's being bad and watching it work. Do not get in trouble. Hi, Bonnie. That's, bad. That's awesome. It's awesome for Your us. Bosses love people who think outside the box, Bonnie. And, it's awesome. It, it, okay, we're going to go with Sarah's answer yeah. that it's awesome. Yeah. And you're thinking outside. You're doing research, doing research. On, uh, on, on the office legalities life. of pen I was gonna changing. Say she works at a law firm. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> sure. So, so that's, that's basically it. And, you know, Oh, the other thing, oftentimes you will get ink in your cap. So you just want to kind of rinse your cap out as well um, okay. each time you're changing your ink color. Just in case if any okay. of it leaked through the nib and exactly. got into the cap. Exactly, because it, it does happen. Yeah. You get kind of ink splatter or ink linkage in your cap, and I always forget to do that. And then Ink leakage. I've always, um, I, 
what I think of when I think of fountain pens are the movies when I was a kid and somebody would put a fountain pen in their pocket. And yeah, and it would, it, and it would just bleed yeah. everywhere. That everywhere. does not happen with modern fountain pens as much because they're, the filling mechanisms are slightly mm -hmm. different. Mm -hmm. Um, it can I remember you, there was like a little thing on the yeah, side was of the lever. pen, yeah. was, and it just scared me. So, so I thought all fountain pens were like that. And you so what that my lever eyes. was doing inside there was a little plastic sack like this, uh -huh. and the lever basically was doing the pushing down Swishing. on the sack, and oh, okay. again vacuum creating the suction, creating the suction. So it was it was almost an identical filling system, yeah. but instead of your fingers pressing down, I don't know if you can see that, and then refilling, mm -hmm. it was a lever that was pressing down on the bulb okay. or on the sack. Because I, I always had ink everywhere yeah. when I, I tried it once and then I gave up. <laughs> so that is that is cleaning and refilling your pen. Nice. Thank you so the much. The basics of it. Okay. My pleasure. This has been very eye-opening. I, I love that it's not as scary as I thought it was. And I'm very excited to... Uh, and we'll play with some. try to have links to where to get the the right. uh, booger suckers and the scary syringes. <laughs> um, every time my husband sees these laying around the house, he goes, please tell me those are for your pens. Yes, dear. <laughs> yes, dear. Those are yes, for my pens. Yes, they're for You're my pens. You're not planning his untimely demise. No, no, not at all. <laughs> well, no, no, no. we wouldn't tell him. <laughs> no, I like him. Yeah. So I'm yeah. keeping him around for a while. Yeah. He's a good guy. Yeah. We're going to keep him. So thank you so much, Evelyn. My I hope pleasure. that we can have you back again to, well, to do it other. Like we have a lot more to learn about pens, so yes. I think that's going to happen. I think I, think I would love to are, come back. I, I don't know if you know this, Evelyn, but we have we're going to be opening up a pen shop on online. I yes. did not know that. Yes, yes. we're we excited. Have, we have, we're, we've got some things going on with uh, Zig and Zig Kiritaki and Chameleon and. Um, were we going to do the Sakura? Yeah. The Sakura pens? Yeah. And stuff. So we're so. going to have some stuff coming up on our shop. So Yay. we can have you over when we blast that open and you can tell us what you think. All right. Yeah. All right. I'd be happy to. Can be our guinea pig. Yeah. Um, shall we go yes, ahead let's and go on to the next thing? Go on to the next thing. Okay. So we just want to give you guys a few little things that are coming up. I'm going to move this water yep. out of the way, and I'm just going to place this right here. Mm -hmm. This is our new wallpaper for October, mm -hmm. and again, you can get this with with the date or without, and also without the organizational tools. The little boxes, yeah. So it's just really pretty leaves yeah, if so you want to get three different versions, and I just want to... I, I have been remiss lately in mentioning this. I put it on the blog post, but just in case you miss it, you just click on those babies. They open up in their big size, and then usually, like a right click, a will, right click, you or can choose to put it, put it on your desktop or save it to your pictures or however you do your desktop photos. Correct. And it should just be fine. And it'll be fine. And let us know if it isn't, because I, you know. Yeah. We, if something is is not happy about that, then please, please, please let us know. We will. I'll call you at home and walk you through it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um. So we've got that. We've got a new planner pop coming up in October. We're releasing some other new products. We've got our process videos and our live demo class. So a lots of stuff up. happening in October. A lot going on. And at the end, we seal it all off with Halloween. With Halloween. And, we, and meanwhile, behind the scenes, there's tons of our creativation work going on. We're launching our products in January. Yeah, yeah. And Phoenix. And so that's all going on. And that's very exciting. And there's just, there, you can't even imagine how much there is behind the scenes right now. Ooh, ooh, that. ooh. And <laughs> also, be sure and check out our blog post of the 31 Days of Craftiness. Starts October oh, yeah. 1st. Yeah. And we'll have a link to that also in the show notes. And... Um, you guys need to go check that out, and you, there's 31 crafts, like one yeah. for every day. And of some the of month. them are super easy, and some of them are a little more challenging, yeah. you know, trying to please all people and all, but um, yeah. Do whatever you want. Yeah. Let us know what you do, and um, so we can link to it and, and promote that too. Yeah. But lastly, and certainly not leastly, that, that's, <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm trying to be cute, <clears throat> Evelyn has been so kind as to offer to help us with a giveaway. Yeah, we're going to do a giveaway! Yay! So, um, Evelyn, can you tell us a little bit about what um, we're going to give away? Absolutely. Please? So, I, as you probably guess, I love fountain pens. So, Evelyn's um, got some pens. I have a beautiful, um, again, Pilot Metropolitan Retro Pop. This is in the houndstooth <laughs> pattern. Nice. Brand new. Comes with a... A converter an, and a, a cartridge? Cartridge and a converter. And, and because, you know, this is useful for one use, and then this, you need a bottle of ink to use. 
Well, you're going to get a brand new bottle, unopened, not this one that we've been dumping the ink mm -hmm. out of, but a brand new one of Ooh. the Pelican Edelstein Smoky Quartz, which again is the limited edition color for 2017. Nice. And a beautiful fall color it as well. It is a beautiful fall color. And we're going to pair that. We're going to pair that with our Through the Seasons Planner our Pop. Through the Seasons Planner Pop that comes with a couple of bookmarks, some washi. There's just stuff everywhere. There's three rolls of washi. There's bookmarks. There's two different dashboards because we wanted to give you one for fall and winter. Yeah, you can pair them and right. layer them however you want. Layer them. And a whole, like, eight pages of stickers. It's like eight pages of stickers. I mean, yeah. these will get you through your plannering for the for season. The season. Therefore, so, it's called Through the Seasons. Get it? Yeah. So this is a really beautiful giveaway. And we're oh. so thankful to Evelyn. And so we're going to be posting that on Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. Okay, so here's the deets. So we need you to um, like on Instagram. Yeah, we're going to go on and put a post about it. We're going to post this yes. in our notes. Thank you, Joanne. Um, we're excited, too. You got to like, follow, and tag a friend. Uh, friend. Friend. My parents are visiting <laughs> from Nashville. Hi, Mom and Dad. <laughs> and so I'm talking real Southern yeah. today. So, But it has to be. It's on the post that I'm going to post later. Right, no, right. The post yet. isn't up yet. So be sure. You'll a picture of us doing something with the pants. Be sure and check out Instagram and look for this. And um, we will go ahead and announce our winner mm -hmm. on October 12th at our live class that we're doing on October 12th. So we'll mm -hmm. announce the winner. And again, we just need you to go on our Instagram page and like, follow, and tag a friend. Share it with everybody and let them know that they could win a pin. <laughs> and so can they enter until the live, or do they need to have their entries oh. in by October 11th? No, it's yes. by October 11th. They'll be choosing on October 11th at noon, probably, or somewhere around. Right, and then we'll announce it on yeah. the 12th. So you have until October Perfect. 11th, which is a Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay, so you've got like two weeks. It's about two, a little less than two weeks. So um, we would love to share all of our fun stuff with you guys, and we want to hear what you think. Sarah, what is the state of the pay pen? Well, it's inky. It's, it's inky. inky, Rachel. There you go. So our state of the pen is inky today. So thank you guys so much for joining us. As always, if you have questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you have any other questions that you want to forward, we can forward things on to Evelyn. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Have a great Bye. week.